hey guys welcome back just perfect designs my name is gabriel and today we will be doing something really different which is we will be designing a church program flyer or a church program banner design but specifically for social media publicity and you'll be able to do this all by yourself using photoshop and it is pretty easy to follow along so if you want to do this without spending any money i'll suggest you watch this video all through the end so you don't have to pay anyone to do your design for you okay so let's see what we'll be creating in this video okay so the first thing you want to do is create a new document and i will be using two 2200 by 2200 pixel and 300 resolution with 16 bit so i'm gonna be creating this document and now um i would like to let you know that all the images i used are actually from unsplash and also from um uh pexels so unsplash and pexels this that of the pastor is from unsplash and the background itself is from pexels which is what you see right here so what i'm going to be doing now is just right click on this and then copy this image i don't have to download it so to save space on my system most people don't know that you can just copy an image and paste it on your creative cloud um, you know programs instead of downloading it and occupying space on your system and most times you always forget to delete them so what you want to do is just right click and copy the image so you come back to your file and then you paste it in using ctrl v ctrl or command v i'm on mac okay so what you want to do next is stretch this so i'm going to um click on command t or ctrl t on pc and i'm going to hold the option and and then at this bottom here i'm going to click and drag it so it's it um, zooms in evenly i'm going to try and center this a bit okay so that is it now the next thing i want to do is come down here and then where it says um create a new fill or adjustment layer i'm going to click on that and what i want to do is locate black and white okay so this is the effect i want to have here so you can choose to um, maybe clip this to the image or not it, that's the only thing the image is the only thing below this so it doesn't really matter but i like to clip it in just in case i have something i want to put underneath the image which is basically doesn't it doesn't make any sense okay so the next thing i want to do is create a new layer and um with my fill background to be black i'm going to click on this paint bucket too or you can just hit g on your keyboard but in case you are seeing something else maybe gradient on it or this 3d stuff just um you know right click it and to bring out the other options so what you want to select is the paint bucket too so as soon as you click on that just click on anywhere in the document to fill it up just like that okay now i want to make this 80 percent opacity so we can see a little bit of the image we just um you know scaled up so now what i want to do is start making my designs all over okay so the first thing i'm going to do is create um a rectangle tool and hitting the rectangle tool i'm going to come all the way up here and drag this down like so okay i want to take off the stroke i don't need the stroke on this document i only need the fill okay and for the fill i want to make this a yellow color like this yeah okay let's see okay maybe let's increase it a little bit more i'm going 
gonna hit Ctrl T, and then um, with while holding the Shift key, I will just drag this edge a little bit, like so. Just like that, maybe a little bit in. Okay, like so. And then the next thing I want to do is um, create or just duplicate this this rectangle um, shape by hitting the command J or Ctrl J on PC and then I'm going to hit the Ctrl C tab again and I'm going to drag this all the way up while holding the shift key if you don't hold the shift key you get um, something like something like this hold on so if you don't hold the shift key this is what you are going to see but if you hold it down the shift key you'll be able to scale it up just like i want it to be right here so let's take it up a bit further okay and now the next thing i want to do is make this color white so i'm going to come down to the fill right here and make it white just like that and i'm going to hit ctrl t again or command t and I'm going to come down to where it says um, skew and all I want to do is drag this angle up a little just like that and then hit OK or enter or return key click yes like okay, so we get something similar to this just like that okay so the next thing we want to do now is um let's let's write in our text shall we yeah let's do that so i want to write um the theme of our program is family communion uh just like that i want to bring this down okay so Um, I'll be using this font called Anton and by the way every font you see me use here is actually free font I haven't um, I haven't purchased any fonts ever before in my entire life so whatever font you see me make use of you can just look that up on the internet and you definitely find it Anton is something you know it, it's a free font anyway so you just start for it and you can you see it easily so for the size i think i'll be using um let's say 52.7 okay this is fine let's do the same for for this also for the set um for the leading we're going to say 52.7 as well okay so that is it so I'm going to bring this all the way up here and um, I want to make it italic like so and I'm going to make it white obviously no. okay so the next thing you want to do is duplicate this particular text so why you are selected why the um, text is selected here in the layers just click on command J or Ctrl J on PC and let's just drag this down underneath the first one the original text so we mess with the copied version so now what you want to do is double click double click outside the text if you click on the text it's going to ask if you want to rename it but that's not what we want but outside the text just double click on it but within this layer but outside the text double click on it and it will bring up this layer style so what you want to do now is click on stroke and then let's change this color to what we have whatever color you have just change it to whatever color you want to make use of so I'm going to select that and I'm going to leave it at 2 2 pixel right here and then I'll click on OK <laughs> so the next thing I want to do is where it says fill while still selecting that layer where it says fill you want to bring down that down to 
zero percent from hundred percent down to zero percent so we don't have any few all we want for this is just the stroke okay now the next thing you do is hit command t or ctrl t on pc and i like to zoom in on this so the way i zoom in is i'm holding my command or control key and then i'm clicking on this plus minus here on the um, top right corner of your keyboard so just click on the on the plus to zoom in just like that and then i'm going to center this you can hold the our um, the space bar and then click and drag once you hold the space bar the um, cursor turns to hand and you can just click and drag like that okay so now i'm going to hold down my option or alt key and then drag this part a little bit like so yes just like that and then i'm going to click enter or return now to go back to the original size of this document all you need to do is click on command zero or control zero on pc and there you go okay so the next thing we are going to do is drag in our pastor okay so like i said um earlier i got this picture of this person from onsplash so i'm just going to drag this in just like that and now one great feature of um, photoshop i think the latest version i think 2020 2021 version i don't know of um, 2019 and older but 2020-2021 version there is this um auto select that helps you select the exact um you know um person on any design any background you know what i'm simply talking about is this as soon as i click on any selection tool there is this option here that says select subject and as soon as i click on that watch what happens so it automatically selects the image only the photo of this person leaving the background um, unselected okay so what I will do next is come down to this select and mask now as you can see I only have this pastor right here so um, the reason why I have just this person is here I've set my skin to onion skin right here and then i make it real time refinement so that's why the background is gone if i should select uh, maybe overlay you can see the what's there there's this background and you know something like that if i click on on black you see what's there as well so but i prefer it on onion skin just like that and then i'll select um, smart radius and what i'll do next is um probably shift the edge a bit like that and then i'm going to drag out the smooth so about 60 or 63 just like so so what i love to do is where it says um output to i always select new layer for that and then i'll click ok so automatically it deselects um it hides the original layer and you know leave only the new layer checked so what i will do next is i'll hit command t or ctrl t on pc and then i'm going to um you know scale this picture up without holding the s the shift key i'm going to scale it up a bit just like so and position it exactly where i want it to be just like so i'm going to hit the enter key or return key on mac okay so the next thing i want to do is probably drag in our logo so for the logo as well i actually search for just any logo on um on um you know the internet from google and that was how i was able to get this so i'm not going to download this so it doesn't take up space on my system what i'll just do is click on it and then click on copy image i'll right click on it and select copy image and then i'll just come to the top right here the first layer right here and then i'm going to click command v or control v on pc that is all for this part i'm just going to try and align this logo right here 
on the pastor's hair just like that as you can see our design is beginning to come to life just like so now the next thing we have to do is the pastor's name so I'm going to click Control T. What I basically did there was I click on the T um, on my keyboard and it brings out, it selected this um, text tool and then I just clicked on the document. So what I'll do now is um, I want to write with, with and I'm going to change the font. I want to make this Montserrat and um, I'm going to make it medium just like so so uh, I don't want it to be italic and then I'm going to reduce the size to about that so I'm going to put it around here and I'm going to change the color to this yellow we have right here okay so the next thing i want to do is duplicate this uh, what i did there is i hold my option or alt key and then i click on it and drag it out while still holding the option or alt key so i'm going to release it the, the keyboard first i'm releasing the mouse first before releasing the alt or option key then I will double click on it so I'll be able to edit it and what I want to say here is pastor click on enter or return and then write Victor okay so I'm going to select this now I think I'll go with um, extra bold like so I'm going to change this to white the color to white like so and then I'm going to try and bring the text up so they have um, a good spacing, a good amount of spacing in between. Okay. Yeah, I think that is fine. Let's make it 15. Yeah, 15 is fine. Okay. So, um,. The text itself, we are going to increase the size to about 20. 20, yes, just like that. So now we have to play with this again to bring it a bit down. 18 is good in this part. Okay, so we're almost done, guys. Um, next thing we want to do right now is give our time and location. Uh, time and location so let's not forget um, we have a text right here that says um, three days power packed conference just like so I want to make the font Anton or oh, let's leave it as Montserrat Anton is the original font I used for um the original design the final design but i think i like this better so but extra bold is too much let's make it semi bold and then i'm going to reduce the size a bit to about um let's say 15. uh 12 should be fine yeah 12 is fine so I'm going to align the text like so okay so I think what is next now is the um, venue and then the time so let's do that right now so I'm going to click on this right here the T which is um, I click on T on the keyboard which is the text tool and what I'm going to do right now is type in the word time like so so I'll make this um, 
extra bold and then um, I'm going to increase this a bit and then I'm going to drag it down yes something like that okay so what I did just now is I select this with Pastor Victor I just want to reduce the size a little bit more like so okay so the time for the time let's say um, 1200 and then in bracket GMT like so so what I'll do is I'll select the bracket GMT I want to make that medium and for the 1200 I want to make it um, let's do bold like so okay so I'm gonna try to align this properly and then I'll, I'll increase the size of time a little bit because it has to be obvious just like so and then for the time the word time I'm going to change the color to the uh, yellow a uh, default yellow color right here okay guys so we are almost done with this design next thing is the venue so I'm going to hold Alt key or Option key, click and drag this time right here, like so. And I would change this to, I will double click on it and change it to Venue, like so. So I'm going to try to align it properly, just like that. And then um, I'm going to click on the T on keyboard. To bring out the text to then I'm going to write out the venue um, let me just use a alarm 10 MSD a4 RDBM a road okay so you want to put in your correct address right there i'm just putting in anything and i'm going to change the text to white oh white like so and then i'll reduce it to about 12. yes just like so and instead of extra board i'm going to make this medium and then I want to okay let me break this down I want to align it to the right like so and then I want to reduce this like so bring this let's align it properly so now what we're going to do is select the time the venue and then we're just going to drag it up a bit just like so okay guys so we're basically done with everything right here and as you can see the design is minimal it is so so sleek and effective 
it doesn't have any much um you know complications in it and it is very easy to create as you can see all by yourself so guys this is it and um if i should get some decent amount of likes on this video i'll be showing you a motion graphic design using this same um you know this same design right here i'll make it emotion graphics where the pastor comes in you know maybe slides in the text you know maybe have some crazy effects coming in there's a snow or a rain kind of um you know effects also on it i'm just gonna make it emotion graphics if i get some good amounts of likes on this design so please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to keep seeing more tutorials like this and until i see you again on the next video stay healthy stay strong peace